Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. And my name is uh, Roy Howard David Sr. And where I came from, uh, Tetlin Village. I was born in 1937. I see a lot of chance. With our language, we call Tetlin. Tetlin means like a creek running, you know, like that's where I came from. My dad named my father, named Titus David. That's where I came from, that's my father. And also, Jesse David uh, just came from uh, Tanner Cross. That's one uh, from Tanner Cross Village. Uh, that's when my dad got married late, sometime around late 1930s, someplace. And they got married. And the firstborn was my older sister named Kathleen David. The second one was uh, Adam. And next, the third one was me. I'm the third one. And the fourth one was a Bentley. And the fifth one is uh, Walter David. And last, last one is uh, Lydia. There's a six of us. Time to time, we, see we all uh, stay together with like a family, you know. We know each other very clear. The first one, we lost my sister, 19. Uh, 47, late, uh, her, her name Kathleen, she passed away in Seward Hospital. And next, not, not too far around, Erpel, we lost our older brother named Adam. And next one, my brother Walter David died. And next one, Lydia died. And they all die, die off. This is what we go through, struggle. There's only one. I'm all the one survive. All, all of my family are, are gone. I even see my dad and mom all through struggle because uh, we lost all our loved ones, you know. And pretty soon we struggled. Pretty soon my dad, uh, 1955, he talked with us. The time when my youngest brother was alive with us. He said, we need, I lost my daughter in Sewer Hospital, and then we go through struggle. That's what lead me to drink, he tell us. But good thing to have friends, like friends, like friendship, I don't care, white people, black people, or anything, that's when they work with my dad. And my dad was a co-op with his good carpenter, and good uh, hardworking guy, good hunter for sport, and good for a lot of things, like a road, road house, he always work every year and she support us. And also I see my dad and mom are working with garden. The gar garden, they, they grow those turnip and potatoes, cabbage and lettuce and garden. We live by garden them days. That's uh, one of the best food we ever eat. In like a uh, springtime, we go to camp, camp out some, some place about 10 miles away. They call Se Cheng. Se Cheng has been to our Muscat camp, hunting camp uh, for moose, ducks, everything we uh, make soup for everybody. They share with everybody. Visitor, ten across visitor, and north they're visiting. They all gather, uh, get up when they kill moose. They all come around. They eat together. They're telling stories. That's the fresh, fresh food that keeps us really healthy. Them days, them days I see everyone like that in Tetlin, everyone, all friends, they work, they work just like us, you know, they live by garden. A lot of people, we don't face no sickness. No sickness. I, I believe that everyone's got clean life them days. When the village are really pretty quiet, you know, I like to see a lot of chances. Sometimes uh, BIA school, uh, teacher come in. That's the place uh, my dad just went to volunteer for build, build it, uh, those big school, 30 by 30 lock, lock house just for, for kids, you know. Before that, uh, my dad father built a school for that uh, children the same way too. My dad do the same way too. And BIA school come to this uh, school when it was small, you know, and I learned a lot of quite a bit from school, BIA school. I do remember what uh, teacher name them days uh, 
His name is uh, Mr. Dembley. Dembley, that last name is the one who taught us a lot of things, good teacher. And it was a family, we learned by family. He taught us all how to, how to do in arithmetic and how to adding, you know, all, all the things that are really interesting. And I wish somebody had knocked me down right now before I quit school, you know. I quit school when I was sixth grade. I regret it because uh, school is just a very, very important thing right now for everyone. White people, color, or black people, Athabascan, Eskimo. I don't care what kind of tribe, but school is the best for people. Please don't quit. The school is the one answer because I regret doing I quit school. I did the education in 1974 when Dan Sitka went on, went on my work for Alaska State Trooper. That's the place I need ed education. State Trooper, I tell you, I go through that's really tough, tough one I go through. When you say yes, you got to say yes to your United States of Black, the history all the way back, who is your president all the way back. You got to know, know, and you got to know how much your magistrate in Alaska, the, who is your state's uh, commission, all uh, tell, tell us. 1974, I graduated from Alaska Tea Trooper. And I got back to uh, my village as, as trooper. And they called constable, constable state trooper. When I go through Alaska Tea Trooper, that's the one really, you gotta be mad enough to be a trooper. Reason why I'm not trooper today, because 1974 that year, I guess you probably heard about that. I go through an accident happen. We go out fishing that time my day off. That's the time uh, accident I was uh, way out from the village of Teton, probably about around two, three hours away from the village, you know, that we go through a big lake. I guess pistol drop far through my stomach. It went through my uh, stomach and liver, liver got shot. I could die somehow. I survive because I do remember how to be. Don't get nervous, my blood tell me, if anything happened. That's the plane that took me to Fairbanks Memorial Hospital. That's the place they patched me up. They told me I'm going to die, but no. I believe that I'm not going to die. So prove that I recover two weeks. Two weeks time I cover. I came back, I see my family. All I want to see my family. That's what count. I want to see mom and dad. Uh, how I met my wife long time ago. I've been time to find out. Uh, I go through them days with young days, you know, the young. I search for good girls at the time. I, I go through a lot of good girls. Uh, I see a lot of. Uh, Good girls, but it's not my type, you know. It's not my type. I explain to them, you know. I explain to them, but the time to time, in my village, I know who, you know. My mother and dad always taught me how to, if you want to have good girls, the one who's working all the time. I watch her. I watch her a long time. And pretty soon, I don't know, she watched me too. She got a job on the uh, B.I. school for a long time. That's where I was visiting teacher, you know, teacher, that's the place. She don't know I, I her. One day she, we caught each other. That's where it start. I like to have girlfriend, I tell her. She don't say anything a long time. Next time she told me she want to have boyfriend too. That's how we meet each other. Pretty soon we get to know each other. That's, that's where we start with precious love. But I promised her before that I'd be a good husband. And she did. later on, she said, uh, I believe with all my heart you can do it. I could say I watched you many, many years, she told me. I've been watching you too, I told me. me and my wife, we don't have no kids, really kids, but we have 
some other kids we adopted. I'm glad that she's my wife. And I'm glad that she, when she passed on, she tell me, keep going, keep going. This is what I keep going today. Family, that's what makes it more struggle. Uh, especially when you lose your loved ones, like maybe your sister or maybe older or younger sister. If, if they pass on, that's what we really can be struggled at like it, not like before, because you've been among them. You've been a mom of mostly uh, close by family. Family, that's what we're, where, that's where he came from. That you know who your sister, you know who your brother. Sometimes when your mom died, that's place really, really hurting. That's when dad gone, that's a really hurt that you remember if you go through, like where you go back where camping ground, or maybe someplace like Tanana River, someplace or maybe Creek Lake, some best snow machine, you remember that. That's really struggle, you know, you really miss. You miss just like you lost right there, but you still keep going, keep going. There's always one answer. One answer by some true friends. I don't care what kind what kind of friends they are, true friends you gotta meet. Meet that's one we, because he or she have probably six same kind probably go through too. You see, this is how we help together. This is how we telling, telling, telling the story. Stay by, close to family, you know. That's, that's what is counting. And once, once you get on the job, this is a new one. Once you get a job, stay on a dead job. Because I've been going through job, job to job. I go through, like, let's let, let talk about struggle. I used to go through drinking a long time ago. I know what I'm talking about. All your life system, all clean down here. This is what I'm talking about. Listen very close. Clean. But when you take drink, alcohol damage. Same way, like, the sickness right there. The sick, that's where sickness go through. That's where people lose. This is how that alcohol work, cigarettes work, dope work. That's how. It's you and you. You're the man enough, you're woman enough, you're girl enough, you're boy enough. It don't hurt to say no, thanks. None of our family beat. It put their life away. This is a struggle, the struggle from alcohol and dope. Grandpa told me, who you hate, you got to forgive. If you're man enough, he told me. You forgive, somebody will forgive you too, he said. In winter time, if you see animal like dope, got broken leg. You don't go by, he told me. You come back, make cut grass, good place, even if he try to bite you, still you put him in good place. Give enough bite, he say. Enough bite and go by. And maybe that dog pray for you too if you walk, he say. This is how we respect each. That's, that's how they taught us how.